don't want to. Once you do F9, if you don't immediately do uh, Control Z, it'll ruin your formula. All right, so we have our formula here. Now let's see if we can uh, do a macro and advanced filter. Now we're going to start over on this sheet right here, and we need it uh, for advanced filter. We need a uh, um, if we go back over here, we need to ask the advanced filter, are there any trues in this column? Now you've got to be careful when you're doing an advanced filter. The field name has to be exactly the same. So one safe method is to copy that field name. Come over here and I'm going to paste it right here. And what we're going to need is true. We're going to ask uh, the advanced filter, are there any trues in this column? Now here's a trick. Um, well, we're going to turn on the macro, but um, in order to do advanced filter from one sheet and then have it look at data on a different sheet, because we want to look at this whole data set right here, you start the advanced filter here. But first we need to turn on the macro, and in fact we need to delete all the data on the birthday sheet. So let's turn on the macro, and you have to have .xls or in you know, the new version .xlsm for your uh, macros to work. Down here, there is a Start Macro button. Um, in 2003, you go Tools, Macros, Record Macro. I'm going to click on this button, boop, and I'm going to name it Birthday, Birthdays, Extract, and uh, then click OK. Now, the first thing we need to do is highlight all these columns. because we need to delete it. This is from the last data dump. And you need to go home, edit, clear all, or um, edit, uh, clear all, clear all to get rid of the format and the data. Now I'm going to click here. And we have our field name in our uh, criteria. And I'm going to go to data. In 2003, it's data menu. And then this is advanced filter for us in 2007. In 2003, you go um, filter, advanced filter. Now, we want to copy to another range. The list range is not right. So we actually want to highlight that. It's completely wrong. Click over here. And that's the trick from going, getting a data dump on a new sheet. You've got to start on that other sheet. You want to be sure and highlight the entire data set. I'm going to get the field names and then Control Shift Down Arrow. And then I'm going to click. So I have the range there from the data sheet. Now I'm going to click on Criteria Range. And I'm going to highlight these two. And I'm going to copy it too. I'm going to delete that and uh, click in A1 and then click OK. And there we have it, um, a bunch of dates. I'm going to uh, just quickly look over here. We got to scroll all the way back up because we um, had scrolled all the way down. Maybe leave it right about there. Click back on birthdays and then maybe click on this, the top one and stop. Stop. In 2003, you have to have the uh, macros toolbar on to get that little stop button. Now, I want to see if that macro will work. Um, the keyboard shortcut is Alt F8. And I'm going to say Birthday Extract, and I'm going to say Run. And it looks like it ran just fine. Now we want to add a button. We're going to go to uh, Developer and Insert and Forms in um, 2003, you have to have the f um, control toolbox or uh, not the control toolbox. You have to have the forms toolbar. So you have to actually open that toolbar to get that button. Developer here in 2000. If you don't have a uh, developer, you'd have to add it going up to um, uh, Excel options. Excel options right here. And then show developer ribbon in the tab under popular here, show developer ribbon. So I'm going to go to developer and get a forms uh, button here. And um, I'm, it's immediately says, hey, what macro do you want to use? I'm going to click on that one, click OK. Well, with it still in edit mode, I'm going to click it, put it somewhere over here, and uh, maybe type extract birthdays. Go take a look over here. So we got our data set. I'm going to actually change it a little bit. Uh, I'm going to put, uh, just to see if we can get a different data set, I'm going to add plus 60 here. 
So what's nice about that, we can see we already got a true right there. What's nice is this, I'm not going to leave that 60 there, but this will change all the time. And so every time you do this, every 14 days or every 7 days or whatever. Uh, so let's go ahead and try it and see if it works. I'm going to click this, and there it is, a whole bunch of new dates. So that's extracting. Uh, we saw a, cr a cool formula for uh, row and indirect to create a series of uh, serial dates. And we saw a true-false formula to check. And we did a macro and advanced filter. All right, we will see you next trick.